Okay, this is the King Industrial 5 horsepower 20 inch spiral cutter head planer. And I just took it on its maiden voyage and planed all this wood for my next project. Now the cutter head and the infeed and outfeed motors both sit on top of these four pillars and the planer table also rides up and down, which makes everything incredibly stable and parallel. And if we remove this cover, you'll see a spiral cutter head with 98 carbide cutters, which you can rotate four times. Now something very cool about this planer that I've never had on a planer before is these roller bars right down here. And their job is to reduce friction as the boards are rolling through under the planer. On every other planer I've ever used, there's a cutter head on the top with an infeed and an outfeed motor, and it grabs the board and starts to pull it through. And the board passes over the top of the table. And part of the horsepower of the motor has to overcome the friction of the board on the table. Now there's ways that you can put waxes and different oils on the top of your table to reduce the friction, but still some portion of the horsepower of your motor that's supposed to be going to your cutter head is used to grab the board and pull it over. And the more friction there is on your tabletop, the more it robs the horsepower from the cutter head. So what these roller bars do is all but eliminate the friction on the top of the table, meaning all five horsepower in the motor is now dedicated to the cutter head and removing material off the top of the wood. Now when I got this machine, the manual said that the spiral cutter head would reduce the noise by up to 50%, which I didn't entirely believe. But after using it, I was really surprised at how much quieter this spiral cutter head is, especially with how big it is and how much horsepower it's using. On the back side here, you can see that all the sawdust that's collected goes into this one dust port, which is a five inch dust port, and I've reduced it down to a four inch because that's what I've got on my dust collector. Under this cover right here, you'll see that the five horsepower motor drives the cutter head with three belts. Now, if you come and take a look inside, the first thing that you'll see are these little fingers right here, which are anti-kickback fingers that stop the wood from shooting back at you at mock chicken. Then you're gonna come into the infeed motor, which grabs the wood and starts to feed it through. Then you're gonna hit the cutter head, which is the business end of the machine. And then at the very back here, you'll see the outfeed motor, which helps pull the wood through and kicks it out the very end when you're all done. You got your measurement gauge here on the side, which goes all the way from zero inches all the way up to nine. To move the bed up and down, you use this wheel right here. And these two knobs are gonna lock it in place so it doesn't move while you're making your cuts. Now this machine also has a variable feed rate, which is how fast the wood is being fed through the machine. Pushed in is 20 feet per minute and pulled out is 16 feet per minute. Now on the top here are two roller bars. So if you're working with somebody and passing wood back and forth as it's playing, you can pull it out the backside, set it on the top, roll it to whoever you're working with and they can feed it through again. Now if you look right under here, there's a pedal that looks like it wants to be stepped on. If you step on it, it makes the planer do a wheelie, then it's riding on three wheels and you can move it wherever you want. Okay, now let me run some wood through and you can see how it works. 